Whenever you're ready. Now, by show of hands, how many of us used to drink before we were of age? Just, okay. Yeah, let's be honest. Everyone's done it. And um, what if we were accepted as adults when we were actually adults? What if we were uh, allowed to drink by the age of 18? Today I will be discussing with you the items that make citizens an, ad an adult and why adults should be allowed alcohol. Firstly, I'd like to discuss the items that make citizens a, uh, an adult. Legally in the U.S., we are allowed to be, or we, an adult, we are adults by the age of 18. <coughs> We're, we are held responsible to vote. Um, we can decide the laws, the local laws, the who becomes president, um, and the law trusts us with the fate with the fate of the U.S. We are allowed to join the military. Um, for some reason. Uh, Right after high school, or even a little bit before we graduate from high school, um, we are sometimes encouraged to join the military. Our bodies are developed, uh, and we are trusted to take care of our bodies. Um, our bodies technically don't completely develop until the age of 25, when all of our bones are fused together. Um, but I mean, even so, 21 still not 25. So our bodies are pretty much just as developed as a 21 year old by the age of 20, at least. Um, and we are also uh, allowed to buy and use tobacco products. Now, I'd like to talk to you about why adults should, why all adults should be allowed to drink. Um, like I said before, we decide the fate of our country. We are allowed to vote uh, on local laws, on just the local like senators, on presidents, etc. Uh, and also, we direct our young men and women to uh, the U.S. military to join the U.S. military. I have a friend uh, who just joined the Navy. She almost like immediately uh, graduated and then joined the Navy. Um, and we are allowed tobacco. Now, unlike uh, tobacco products, um, uh, tobacco products don't have any health benefits. I think we can all agree that tobacco products don't have any health benefits. But uh, there, there's some controversy as to whether wine or beer has um, any health benefits. Uh, one, wine contains a very powerful antioxidant that um, lines the that lines the lining of our blood vessels uh, near our heart that uh, can help reduce heart disease. According to the Mayo Clinic staff, in March fourth of two thousand eleven, um, and two beer beer can help uh, sleep. It can relax. Uh, help people relax, uh, which can also help reduce heart disease, but also help reduce strokes, according to Rose Wendell's article, Beer is Good as Long as It's Drunk in Moderation. Now that I've talked to you about why all adults should be able to drink alcohol, I like to, um, I like to conclude this speech with uh, um, a discussion me and my mother had last, uh, last Wednesday, I believe. I knew that my mother would be opposing to this topic or to, to my idea, so I talked to her about it. And um, basically her, um, her argument was that, you know, when we are children, maybe by age five, uh, we can, you know, bathe ourselves. By age seven, we can pick our own clothes for the day. Um, so she said that everything should be, um, everything should be distributed through our lives so that it's appreciated. And my response to that was, is alcohol really something that we want to appreciate, or that we want our youth to appreciate so much? Um, is alcohol something that we want to, you know, wait for, uh, look at our lives, wait for, you know, as soon as we turn 21 and start drinking every day, you know? 
is, uh, is alcohol something that we want our youth to partake in that way? And uh, I honestly believe that if, uh, if it's something that's introduced to us at a bit of a younger age, then um, if it's something that, that's introduced to us at a bit of a younger age, it won't be such a, a surprise, such, it won't make such a difference when we turn 21. And with that, I conclude.